हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैव एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ बेस्ड ऑन थ्री डी इक्विलिब्रियम राइट सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन दैट द स्प्रिंग ऑफ मॉडुलस के नाइन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्ट्रेच अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ सिक्सटी एम एम वन द मैकेनिज्म इज इन द पोजिशन शोन राइट सो वी कैन फाइंड द स्प्रिंग फोर्स सो लेट से दैट इफ वी रिप्रेजेंट द स्प्रिंग फोर्स in this diagram so let's say that the spring force is acting in this direction right and if we find the spring force on then the spring force is let's say fs and this will be equal to k and that delta right so this uh, 60 mm uh, is mean stretch this spring right so we can find this fs so then fs if we put the values so then this k is 900 newton per meter right so since the units of this k is in newton per meter so then to find this fs this uh, delta need to be in the meters right so then this is 60 mm so then we will divide this by 1000 right we cannot directly multiply 60 mm with this right so otherwise we will get the wrong force value spring force value right so if we multiply this with Uh, that 900 newton per meter so the spring force comes out to be equal to 54 newtons right so this means that we know the spring force value which is 54 newtons right further it is said that calculate the force p minimum required to initiate rotation about the hinge axis bc right so we have the hinge axis bc so it is said that find this p value this minimum p value for which it will just initiate the rotation about this bc axis is right so at that particular point when p is equal to p minimum right the reaction at this point d will be equal to 0 if we represent that reaction at this point d so we will have one reaction at this point d right so at that particular instant when this p is equal to p minimum then in that case d will be equal to 0 right since it will be it will be just lifting in a lifting position right so at that particular instant uh the d reaction will be equal to 0 right so this this point of this system will not be uh touching the and this block right so the reaction at that particular instant will be equal to zero right further in this problem it is said that determine the corresponding magnitudes of the bearing forces which are perpendicular to bc right so we have to find the magnitudes of those reactions which are perpendicular to this bc axis is right so now first let me represent that bc axis is let's say that if this is our bc axis is right which is passing through point b and c right so then we have to find the reactions and those reactions which are perpendicular to this bc axis is right so if i represent those reactions so we will have uh, let's say one reaction in this direction let's say and we will have one reaction which will be acting upward right and let's say that i put my coordinate system at this point b right if we uh, if we define our coordinate system at this particular point so then let's say that this is my positive x direction this is my positive y direction and this is my positive z direction right so the, this is our coordinate system right so now according to this coordinate system let's say that this is the cx reaction this one is cz reaction and then at this particular point we will have two reactions at well, uh, as well right so let's say that there is one reaction which is acting in the positive z direction let's say right so let's say this is b z reaction and let's say there is one another reaction which is acting in the negative x direction right so let's say that this is our reaction which is acting in the negative x and let's say that this is b x reaction right and uh, we are asked to find those reactions at this point b and c which are perpendicular with the bc axis right so this cx and cz is perpendicular with this bc axis is and this bx and this bz reaction is perpendicular with this x uh, bc axis is right now to 
find p minimum we have to apply the summation of moment at point b about the y axis equals to zero right so now as we can see and let's say that this is the d reaction right so at when p is equal to p minimum d will be equal to zero so then we will have no uh, reaction right at this point so we so in this calculation we will ignore this d reaction right since it is equal to zero now as we can see that this cz is passing through the y axis so it will not produce the moment about the y axis this c axis passing through the y axis is is it, it's intersecting right so the perpendicular distance of this cx and this cz from the y axis is equal to zero and this bx and this bz are also intersecting with the y axis is right so now as we can see that only this spring force which is 54 newtons it is producing the moment about the y axis is right so if we look into this 54 newton force so it will produce the moment about y axis is in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction so we will write that it is minus 54 and the perpendicular distance of this 54 newton force from that y axis is, is how much so this is the perpendicular distance this is 45 mm right so so we will multiply this 54 with 45 mm right and now as we can see that this p force is will produce this p minimum force will produce the moment about y axis is, and this p minimum force will try to rotate the system about the y axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction so we can write that this is plus p minimum and the perpendicular distance between p minimum and the y axis is how much so this is given this is 135 mm right so we will multiply this with 135 and this is equal to 0 so this when we solve this equation so then p minimum equals to 18 newton right so 18 newton force at this particular point will just initiate the uh, rotation about this bc axis is right or about the y axis is right so this is that p minimum which was required right now to find the reactions at this point c and b let's apply the summation of moment at point b in the x direction equals to 0 or about the x direction right so the summation of moment at point b about the x axis is, is equal to 0 if we apply this equilibrium condition so now th all those forces which are parallel to the x axis is will not produce the moment about the x axis is right so as we can see that this cx this is parallel to the x axis is, so it will not produce the moment about the x axis is. similarly this force is also not able to produce the moment about the x-axis is this spring force right and similarly bx and bz they are intersecting with the x-axis right since the perpendicular distance of this bx and this bz from the x-axis is zero right so as we can see that this p minimum is producing the moment about the about the x axis is, and this cz is producing the moment about the x axis is, right so now if 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 i write then this p minimum which is 18 right so we can write that this is 18 18 and the perpendicular distance of this p minimum from this point b is this 55 right so this point b is at a distance of 55 from this particular point and this p is at a distance of 40 mm from this edge right so this means that this point p is at a distance of 10 mm from that point b right so we can write that the perpendicular distance of p is 55 minus 40 right so which is equal to 10 mm right and if if we look into this p so then this p will try to rotate this whole system about z axis is in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive x direction right so this means that this will be positive right this is positive moment since this means that this positive is counterclockwise moment right now 
if we look into this CZ, so this CZ will try to rotate this whole system about the x axis is in this direction, right? And if we curl our right hand fingers in, in this particular direction, so the thumb will point out in the negative x direction. So we will write minus and that CZ whose magnitude is not known and the perpendicular distance of this CZ from that point B is this 135 plus 165. Right, so we will write 165 plus 135 and this will be equal to 0. So from this we can find this CZ, right? So CZ will be equal to 18 into 55 minus 40 divided by 165 plus 135, right? So CZ equals to how much? So this is 0.9 newtons right so this is the reaction in the z direction at point c now to find other reactions we can apply the third equilibrium condition that is the summation of moment at point b in the z direction is equal to zero right now all those forces which are parallel to the z axis will not produce the moment about the z axis right so this p minimum will not produce the moment about the z-axis is right this cz will not be able to produce the moment about the z-axis is right so only this uh, spring force will produce the moment about the z-axis is and this cx will produce the moment about the z-axis is right so again we can write that uh, the this 54 newton force will try to rotate the whole system about z-axis is in this direction right like this so if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive z direction so this means that the moment produced by this spring force is positive right so we will write plus this will be 54 and the perpendicular distance of this 54 from this z axis is how much so this is 165 right so it is here written here this is 165 mm right so we will multiply this with 165 and now if we look into this cx uh, reaction so it will try to rotate the whole system about the z axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative z direction so this means that this uh, c axis is producing the clockwise moment about the z axis is right so we will write minus and that is c x and the perpendicular distance of this c x from the z axis is again 165 plus 135 so we will write 165 plus 135 and this will be equal to 0 and when we solve this so c x is equals to 54 into 165 divided by 165 plus 135 so cx is equal to 29.7 newtons now to find other reactions we can apply the equilibrium condition that is the summation of forces along x equals to zero if we apply this so now we will add up all those forces which are acting in the x direction right so we can write that this bx is acting in the negative x so i will write minus bx which is unknown similarly this 54 newton force is acting in the positive x so we will write plus 54 this is the spring force right and similarly this cx force is acting in the negative x so we will write minus cx this is the magnitude of cx which is 29.7 newtons and this will be equal to zero and when we solve this so bx equals to 24.3 newtons right and similarly if we apply the summation of forces along the z axis is equal to zero so now as we can see that this bz is acting in the positive z direction so i will write plus bz similarly this p minimum is acting in the positive z and so we will write plus p minimum and p minimum is 18 newtons right similarly this cz is acting in the positive uh, z direction so we will write plus cz and cz is 0.9 newtons right so we will write plus 0.9 and this will be equal to zero right so from this we get bz equals to minus 18.9 newtons right so this means that 
the BZ, the actual BZ reaction is acting in the negative Z direction, right? So the minus sign indicates that the magnitude of BZ is 18.9 Newton, but it is acting in the uh, negative Z direction, right? And further in this problem, it is said that what is the normal reaction force at D if P is equal to P minimum divided by 2. So now if P force is equal to P minimum divided by 2, if the, if the force applied at this point P is less than the P minimum, so that f then this that P force will not be able to initiate the rotation about this BC axis. So at that particular instant then there will be a reaction at point D. D will not be equal to 0, right? So then we will take into consideration this uh, D force, right? So now then we can find that D reaction if we apply the summation of the moment at point B about the y axis is, is equal to 0. Again if we apply this equilibrium condition, right? So now as we can see that this P minimum will produce the moment about the y axis is and that the direction of that moment about the y axis is will be like this right and if we curl our right hand finger so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction so we will write that that p minimum divided by 2 and now in this case our p force is p minimum divided by 2 remember and p minimum divided by 2 is how much so it is 18 divided by 2 so this is 9 newtons right so this means that at that particular instant p is equal to 9 newton and this 9 newton force will produce the moment about y axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction right so we can write that this will be plus 9 newtons and the perpendicular distance of this 9 newtons from this y axis is how much so this is uh, 135 mm right so we will multiply this with 135 right Similarly, this uh, 54 Newton force, this spring force is producing the moment about y axis as well. And if and this 54 Newton force will try to rotate the whole system about y axis in this direction. And if we curl our right hand fingers like this, so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction. So we can write that it, it will be minus 54, the spring force. And the perpendicular distance of this spring force from the y axis is how much? So, this 45 mm, right? So, we will multiply this with 45. And now, when d is not equal to 0, so this t will, this d reaction will also produce the moment about the y axis, and the direction of that moment will be like this about the y axis, right? And if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction, so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction, so this means that the d force is producing the counterclockwise moment about the y axis right so we will write d multiply by the perpendicular distance of this d from the y axis is, is 90 mm right so we will multiply this with 90 so this will be equal to 0 right so now when we solve this so d equals to 13.5 newton right so when P is equal to P minimum divided by 2. So, at that instant, the reaction at point D is 13.5 newtons, right? So, this is the solution of this particular problem.